Hi guys, Arindam here. Hey. And in this video, I will finally show you how to complete Rockwell Alpha solo on official difficulty settings. So let us begin. So my whole strategy hinges on the fact that I have a very high melee character. And as you can see, I have a backup rifle. Two swords well below the 298% limit. Flak, the I mean Healy below the 158.7 limit and uh, Tech below the 714 limit. All these limits are the official limits. And I am using Cactus Broth to shield myself from enemy's vision. You don't need this. So, when you are using a cactus rod, the detection goes down to around 12 meters. And that's the real trump part. Without cactus rod, this mission is not going to be possible. Of course, cactus rod cannot be found on aberration, so you need to transfer over to some other servers, spot start or extinction and get the reactors brought from there. I am using a glider suit by the way. The glider suit has a very specific purpose it's not to fly around it's to make sure that sometimes what happens is these tentacles they glitch out and they when they glitch out they take you inside the pool of element and you can neither get out of it you just be stuck and your mission will be over so if you ever feel that is happening you should immediately jump and activate your glider suit It won't always happen, but if it happens, it's an instant mission fail. So that's what I'm trying to do. As you can see, I've got myself stuck inside this. And to unstuck, I just pressed the space bar two times and uh, that lets me activate the suit. Since I've not put any value into movement speed, I am using a tech leggings. You could just go with a primitive tech leggings. You don't need to have a really good ascended leggings like I have from Extinction. Wait. So as you can see I took a hit. And I'm using the wrong sword which is doing a slightly less amount of damage. The whole strategy rests on not being able to hit. And if you are if you are using the sword like this the tentacle will be stunned, so it will not be able to attack you.
see what I did there? The tentacle would have pulled me down. You cannot actually fall into this pool of elements, so that's a really So now we are going to go into the second stage, the technically the third stage where Nameless starts spawning. There isn't much I can do anywhere, considering that's an electric field, so I just have to stick to and kill this tentacle. Each of these tentacles have around 15 to 17,000 health. I don't know the exact number, but I think it's around the 15,000 mark. So it should take around eight hits, eight to nine hits to successfully terminate these tentacles one by one. Depending upon your character, you may not get that much amount of melee. I have actually completed the Alpha Master Controller, so I have a lot of levels I have put into melee. You could do it with less amount of melee. I mean, it will still work, it will just take a bit more time. See what just happened?
Reaper will start spawning from this round. That was just me taking thumbnails. As you can see I got lucky there, if the reaper would have moved a bit closer I could have spotted me. 12 meters, that is the detection range for cactus bot. I'm using Healy by the way, I don't know whether I need a full set of Healy to activate the 50% bonus detection or I don't know if it's like uh, if each piece gives separately or it's like a full set bonus. So there should be around uh, 3 more rounds remaining. Not a good idea. See what happened? Too close for comfort. Too close for comfort. Yes, go away.
that's just lag and lag can be a bit of a problem if I'm in the middle of several nameless I believe we have uh, two more rounds to go. See, it nearly pulled me, it nearly pulled me inside. That's why you use the glider suit. If you don't use the glider suit, the only other option is to use a tech chest piece, which will allow you to do a tech jump. Mind you, this happens to be one of the few arenas where tech, using tech equipment is allowed. Thankfully, I did not get aggroed. So, this should be the final round. As you can see, lag is causing a lot of problems for me. Extreme lag. It's almost too much. We we'll just have to wait for this thing to get over. My God. No, sorry. Not, no way, no way. I'm not going to mess up my entire run because of a bit of adventure see what happened just see what happened that's exactly what i meant when i said bring a glider suit
The Reapers are also getting dangerously close. And this is the last round. I don't want to mess this whole thing up just due to a little bit of mistake. Because I am literally a glass cannon. My character is literally a glass cannon. He doesn't have enough health or armor to withstand proper combat. And this particular reaper is very very close. It's very difficult to so... I don't know I'm playing Ark Sur I don't know if I'm playing Ark Survival Evolved or maybe a Metal Gear game because I'm just a cat and mouse staying out of its friction range I believe we should be home free now and this mission should be over. <sighs> yes. Anyway, I barely lost anything. Sit back and enjoy the rest of the video. Eventually I'll show you my settings like I've been doing for all the other cross fights. A couple of months back when I completed the Rockwell Alpha, I never believed I could do this on official difficulty. I had used that unofficial difficulty settings with a high enough tech rifle for it. Not a tech rifle, uh, below 755 limit shotgun. So as of this moment the only missions I could not complete on official difficulty would be the Genesis Alpha mission. Some of the I think uh, three or two of, two of the gauntlet missions hunting by moonlight, echo of a classic, repeat roll it and punch it. These couple of alphas. I will now show you my settings. So on my single player server I have the difficulty set exactly as official but I have increased rates so difficulty level 1, dino damage 1 all these things set exactly obviously I have increased rates for XP key thing single player settings off maximum difficulty turned on and nothing else boosted I mean no, the difficulty settings are not boosted but I have increased rates for baby maturation harvesting gathering and all these things so as I was saying there are only five alpha missions that i have not been able to complete yet on genesis other than that i have completed every single thing till genesis part one on official difficulty the idea for doing a melee run came from two different things one there was a reddit post about some guy had told how to do this with melee and he was successful at it and the second thing was my own experiences doing the gauntlet missions on beta difficulty in which i had tried using a melee spec character it did go out well and did i, I did could complete it but i did not put videos for it because i thought that uh, 
it's still a risky way of doing the missions because you're going to take a lot of damage and you might die. Okay, so coming here, I'm going to spawn in my predator sacrificial chamber inside my predator pyramid. You may have seen this pyramid with pyramid in a much older video. So this is the sacrificial chamber from aliens versus predator. And well, this is just a swimming pool. Anyway, let me go up and then I'll end the video. So this is my base. The green thing here is actually the tech generator's different range. Anyway, uh, I'm going to end the video. It was really nice doing this and I'm really happy that this worked out the way it is. So, you know, stay tuned for the next video. And I hope to see you guys soon in Genesis Part 2.